Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for a video, the final video that I'm gonna be doing in my studio before I leave for Greece. Ha! Yeah, I was like, wait a second, this is the last time I'm gonna be playing in the studio and then I'm out of here. I'm gonna pack and in a couple of days I'm leaving. Although, when you're watching this, it'll be Saturday, August 10th right? Yeah, Saturday, August 10th, and I leave tomorrow, Sunday, um, and I'm out of here, and I'll be gone for two and a half weeks, so this is, I figured I'd get in the studio and do one more video, and then don't fret, there will be um, videos posted and released on YouTube um, every Tuesday and Saturday, along with a Laser Friday video somewhere in between uh, the entire time I'm gone, so I worked my butt off and I got a bunch of videos done so and stockpiled so that you guys have something to watch while I am away. Okay, so a few things super quick. Let me show you the dried results of the last little mini swipe. And so, do you notice my cells did not go wonky? They did not melt. It was because it wasn't hot in the studio. So if you are having a problem with wonky melting cells, um, it could be so many different reasons, but for me, it was because it was too, too hot in the studio. So this is gonna get a nice top coat of crystal resin and these rainbowish colors are going to pop. So uh, that is on a little eight inch round. So today I'm gonna try it again, swiping on a 16 inch canvas. But before I get to all of that, there are some things I need to tell you, so you might want to open up your ears and don't fast forward. Okay, let me start off by telling you there was something I was going to say that was important and I forgot. Maybe it'll come to me. Um, classes. I am teaching in Montreal on September 14th. Uh, if you are interested, you can email me. I'll send, tell you the email in a minute. I also have classes in my home studio here in London, Ontario, uh, October 19th and 20th, okay? So Montreal, September 14th, London, Ontario, here in my home studio, October 19th and 20th. I've had a few people asking about FAE in September for Dallas, Texas. I have news. Um, I haven't mentioned it in the last you know week or two. It's also been, um, you know, hasn't been talked about. I haven't told you guys much about it because it is being postponed. That is right. You heard me right. Uh, FAE September, which was happening the 27th to the 29th in Dallas, Texas, has been postponed. It is now going to be moved to March of 2025. Okay. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons to that. Um, but I won't get into it. I'm going to let Lee from Massey Art Studio, um, you know, make that announcement and stuff like that. But I can tell you the event is still happening. It is just being postponed from September to March. Okay. So there is no FAE happening in Dallas, Texas this September. So it'll be March 14th to 16th. I believe that is like what you guys call um, reading week or something in the US. Here in Canada, we call it March break. Um, it is that week, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So more details to that, about that to follow. I'll post on social media when I have more information. But yeah, um, postponed FAE, okay? Um, today I am using uh, Jessica Spinner. This is Jessica Winterstrom Spinner. I'm not using mine because it's too small for this 16 inch canvas. So I am using Jessica's Spinner. And of course, I'd like to keep it as clean as possible. So I am going to put on it my Loli Vefi silicone mat. I love my Loli Vefi products. So that is going to keep Jessica's, my spinner, super duper clean. All right. Isn't that perfect? Now, I don't even know if there's gonna be any spinning involved. There might be, there should be, a little bit. But I am swiping again today. I'm gonna to swipe with these palette knives, probably this big one today, since I am doing 
a bigger piece. So I probably won't even use this one. This is from the Fluid Art Co. website. It is number two, palette, light, palette knife number two. So I'm going to do that. And um, I'm going to do like a kind of going to try and do that. I don't know. It might work. It might not work. Um, my base paint is my um, Tricorn Black by color to go from Sherwin Williams. And then I'm using the same colors um, I used in the last little mini video um, that Lisa Marvin had done, but I added two more. So let me tell you what the colors are and they're going in order from here to there. And there's a lot of colors here. I added two more because I wanted more color, but then also because this is a bigger canvas. So we have ball gown, sequins, that's the new one I added, brulee, twinkle, I added that one too. Then we have rose quartz, pinot gris, velvet, and comet, okay? Those are the colors I am going to use. And I just remembered the sequins was a little on the thick side. And I brought my Joe Sonia out to thin it out a little bit. I meant to do that before I started recording and I totally forgot. So these have been sitting in my cups for a really, really long time. And uh, you know, over time they do tend to thicken up a little bit. So no big deal. I just take some Joe Sonia, which again, you can get from the Fluid Art Co. website. Yeah, much better should be better. Um, you can get from the Fluid Art Co. website, fluid-art.co, okay? And you can get your Joe Sonia there. And then also for you who, those of you who want to learn how I mix, um, you know, my TLP piggies. Oh, I meant to mention that. All these colors are TLP pigments, okay? Guess I forgot to mention that too. TLP Piggies, all from Fluid Art Co., okay? And if you want to know how I mix my products for the Bloom recipe, you can go to video number 504. I will link it up here at the top, but then you can also take a course from Shelly. She is the creator of the Bloom Technique, and you can save 15% off the course. It is a very, very, very knowledgeable course and you also get access to a private Facebook group with thousands of people in the group who are always willing to help and answer questions from all around the world. Um, the information and the link and the discount code for that is in the description below in my video. All right. And in the last video, I used titanium white as a cell activator. This time I'm going to go dark. I'm going to do my pains gray with Australian Floetrol as my cell activator. Going dark on this one, all right? So let's get started. Let me put on my gloves. I'm gonna put on my gloves. Um, Cause you know, I don't like my hands getting messy. Um, I'm glad this is the last time I'm painting in the studio because I think tomorrow or the, no, the next day, Sophia and I are going to go get our nails and tootsies done for the trip. I told her I'd take her for a mani-pedi. Um, she's super duper excited about that. So, you know, it'll be nice not to get paint on my nice new nails. All right, this should be enough. Again, I never know how much actual base paint to put down, but I kind of, you know, just figure it out and go. All right, I'm going to, I don't know. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stretch this out a bit and then I might put another little blob in the center. I may or, actually no, because I'm swiping, not blowing. I don't know if that makes a difference. Again, I've said this before and I'll say it a hundred times again. I am not, I repeat, not an expert in blooming. I haven't done enough blooms to like, you know, nail this technique down like Lisa Marvin and, you know, all those other wonderful people. Um, but I'm not, I'm no expert at blooming. I'm an expert at the blowout technique, but not blooming. So, you know, I'm learning as I go. All right. So 
what do I want to do here? I kind of want to do like a, a squiggle. I think that would be best, but I have to be careful with how much I lay down here because there's, there's like seven or eight colors here, right? Maybe I should just do a drizzle with the popsicle stick like I did last time because I have a feeling I might end up with way too much. Yeah. But this is going to take forever too. So I think, yeah, this is going to take way too long. So let's go back to pouring out of the cup here. But I'm going to lay these all down and I'll be right back. All right, so I've laid these down, <clears throat> some major air bubbles. I'm just using a push pin to pop them because we all know what happens every time I use the torch. I end up burning the, uh, the paint. So I'm just popping the big bubbles. I'm not overly concerned about the little ones just yet, just these really big ones. Okay, uh, I'm freaking out because I'm not really sure how the heck I'm gonna do this. And I don't know if that's way too much paint. So I'm gonna go whoop, whoop, and whoop. That's, I'm gonna whoop it. Whoop it good. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Whoop it, <clears throat> whoop it good. All right, so adding my cell activator onto this Bahama Mama um, palette knife. And I'm just tilting it to get it to fully cover the palette knife. And I'm not really sure like how much you should put on here. I put just enough to cover the actual palette knife. Um, maybe I just need a smidgen more. Actually, I'll use the tip of my bottle to spread it. That's a smart idea, Canela. All right. Okay, uh, I have a feeling it's going to start off good, but if I run out of cell activator, then I don't know what's going to happen near the end, but let's do it! And my palette knife isn't big enough to stretch this whole thing. Like, no, let's just do it. Stop thinking and go. See, I didn't even think about that. You see, oh, <laughs> the last time I did that with my palette knife, it ended up drying and I peeled it off and it left the most amazing skin. Um, so that's why I did that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love it. Okay, I haven't even looked at what I swiped yet. I haven't even really paid attention to what's going on here. Oh my gosh. See, it started off so well. And then I lost um, cell activator here. So I don't know what to do now. Should I re-swipe it again? Just from here on? I think that might be a good idea. Um, I think that might be a good idea because this line and this line are so perfect. Although there are some cells popping up, but there's nothing here. Oh, maybe I should use my smaller palette knife. Yeah, scrape that over there. That would have been pretty silly if I used this big guy. Oh, this will be better. Yeah, because I just want to get right in here. So I may, I may make this look good, or I may screw it up. I'm not sure. We're gonna, about, we're about to find out together. We're about to find out together. Um, I just want to like, there's so many pretty cells here, but, and I'm going to go this way, actually. That might be a really bad really idea at this point, but I'm going, go for it anyway. And I'm going to go, whoop, like that. Oh, okay. You have to wait. You have to be patient and you have to wait to see what happens. Okay, because the cells 
will eventually form. I'm gonna close this so I don't have an accident. Okay. And yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. So, okay. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Nothing happened with this one though, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna give it another minute. Okay, so while I'm letting that go, I'll speed you guys up and I'm just going to put my cups away. All right, so I've got a little skewer here and I'm going to just do this along the edge. Why? Because I'm going to spin this, but I'm not going to spin it all the way. I want to leave a lot of negative space but I also want these to have a little bit of a design on the edge. So I'm just going to just lightly, nothing crazy or ruin anything because I did it last time and I really liked it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Um, let's spin this baby. I'm gonna make a mess. I'm going to bring that over there and back you up just a little bit. And I'm gonna spin her lightly, very lightly. See, like super duper light. Start slow. Unlike the last time I went so fast, my little round fell right off the spinner. Okay, maybe this is a little too slow, but again, I wanna see like what's happening. So I'm gonna have to go a little faster. I am loving the swiping business. I don't know why I don't do this more often. I just, I'm so used to just, you know, doing my thing, my blowouts or whatever. So actually that reminds me, I've got some new content coming out. You'll see soon, uh, my first tester of what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that's a video coming up and you'll get to see that soon. I don't know, next week, I think. But yeah, uh, I'm super excited because I'm, you know, diving into some new things and I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm up to. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking some of this black base and I need to wet the canvas, otherwise it's not gonna move when I'm spinning. And I need this sucker to move. So, that should do it. That should be better. And so let's spin again. Um, I'm gonna off-center it actually. I'm gonna bring it like this so that it goes that way. Just don't want this thing flying off the spinner because that would suck. I'm gonna just spin again. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, this is so pretty. I don't want to scrape that, but hmm, I'm gonna end up splattering myself though. That's the problem. I have to spin it a little, oh, what happened there? Hey. Can I touch that with my finger? I don't know. I need to spin it a little harder, but I'm, I'm worried this might get wonky though. 
Okay, I'm gonna recenter it. I think that's recentered. Is it? I don't know. And spin again. No, I think I got the, I hate getting my spinners dirty. Yeah, I got her dirty. I feel like this needs to go this way. Maybe I'll tilt it and then I'll be happy with it. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. Oh yeah. I tilt her and we're done. Oh yeah. I like the way it's stretching out those cells. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Play, pray with me everybody that my cells don't get all melty and wonky. Oh my gosh, I love it. And you know what? I, I'd like to leave this as is and let it dry because there are some seriously right here. Look at that. Can you see that? There, I don't know if you can see that, but there's some serious pretty, pretty colors on that. And I don't want to wipe that off. Um, but I need to figure out where I'm going to put this. I don't think I should leave it on the spinner like that. I'd like to lay it flat. So, like, I mean, it's not a wood panel, so it's not gonna warp on me, but at least I don't think it's gonna warp. Like, I mean, it's a canvas, it shouldn't warp, but oh, I can't get over this. What, I gotta do these more often and bigger. Go big, like Lisa Marvin. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna just, you know, stare at it some more. And I'm gonna put it down on the table, move my spinner, and then I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. So I will be right back. All right, everybody. Uh, okay, I can't even begin to tell you how stupidly stoked and excited I am about this. And I'm hoping and praying that none of this goes wonky on me. I don't know if it's even level on the table. I put it in the most level spot I think is on my table right now because unfortunately I know there are parts of my table that just aren't level. And I'm hoping that where I laid this beauty to rest for the next couple of days is where it's going to be level the most. And I hope it's cool enough down here um, for the cells not to go wonky and melt on me because I will cry. I will literally cry. I am so excited about this. I just, I am going to pop some of those bubbles with the torch really, really lightly. Hopefully I don't do anything bad by doing that. But I love like the little black part here. I love the negative space here. Now do you see why I did those squiggles with the skewer? You know, it just added something to it. Otherwise, you see down here too, it just would have looked not cool. So I'm gonna turn the lights off and the flash on and let's check out that shimmer. Alrighty, so, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Oh, please cross your fingers and toes and pray with me that... Hey, sir, what you doing in here? <laughs> your eyes are red because the flash is hitting your eyeballs. Oh, man. Look at this. This shimmer is ridiculous. Oh, I love TLP piggies. I love the TLP piggies. 
I could just keep going over this for like another 10 minutes. Oh, look at that. This is stunning, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, all right, all right. All right, everybody. So I turned the lights back on and just like the last video, I changed the color of the light. It's now warm lighting. So I don't know if it really makes a difference if you can see you know, I wonder if I turn my flash on at the same time. I wonder if that would do something. I'm very curious, actually. So this is warm light. I'm just trying to get, like, the best possible colors for you guys. Okay, so that's warm light. And then, come on. And that's white, which is what I normally have. And then cold. That's cold, but I think the warm light, that's what Lisa Marvin says. Lisa says you can get the best color out of the warm light, but let me turn the flash on and see what happens. Okay, so I have the flash on, but I don't think it's really doing much of a difference aside from showing you guys the really pretty shimmer. But, all right, I won't bore you guys anymore, but um, let me turn, put it back to white. Okay, I'm done playing with the lights. So, uh, I'd love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, pray with me that it stays just as you see it and nothing changes. Uh, man, oh man, it's so pretty. And the edges all look nice and covered because the edges are gonna stay like that, unlike my rounds where I peel off the edge and you get that nice wood look. Uh, in this case, that's not the case. It is going to be the side of what you see. So the edges, oh, some white there, and that, I gotta fix that. So I do have to fix a little bit of the edges, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Um, I'm leaving and I will be back at the end of August, but in the meantime, there are still videos that are going to be posted to YouTube while I am gone. Please watch those videos. Please continue to comment. Um, you know, watch me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll be posting a ton of pictures and reels and stories while I'm in Greece. Um, so I will be posting while I'm there. So keep an eye out on those while I am gone. And again, don't forget Montreal. Then I'm in London, Ontario to teach here and FAE has been postponed to March. But check the description below and everything you need to know is in the description below, guys. Um, there's also, oh, for those of you who are still watching to the very end, there is a new feature on YouTube um, right under the screen where you're watching. It's called Thanks or something like that. And you can click on that and you can donate to my channel. Um, you know, you can donate whatever you want, you know, it helps me buy supplies, maybe a cup of coffee, just a small little way for you to say thanks um, for the videos that I post for you guys and the tutorials and the things I teach and the lessons. So that is a new feature I just discovered. I'm sure it's been out for a while, but I just discovered it for my channel. So it is there. Um, if anyone wants to click on that and say thanks, I would greatly appreciate it. So that is it. For me, for now, until next time in three weeks from now, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your August. Uh, be safe. Enjoy the summer. I will see you guys when I get back. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.